Right, let's have a little look at some notes. I'm just checking if I've got my phone here as well. I have got this one for the 10 minute timer. The 10 minute timer will come on soon, but I'm just gonna have a little look at my notes to see what, we, what we've talked about and what we've not talked about. And what we're gonna talk about in this video. It's all, it's all planned. Yeah, it's got things going on. Right, okay. Sweet, so this video, we're gonna talk about notes, knowledge, tutorials, all that jazz. Hopefully this is a tutorial you'll watch and you'll get some information from. Obviously my first video was a little bit of introduction, a little bit of what I'm doing, how am I gonna start a business, what um, books I've been reading, what I've been trying to, sort of ideas I've been trying to develop for the business and you know everything encapsulating the brand name and stuff like that. So if you haven't watched that one, go back, see it, see how I start. Um, we're still week four, we're still very, very early. This is my fourth YouTube, so I'm doing one a week and just telling you what's been going on. We've had some ups and we've had some downs this week, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so the previous video, I showed you my talents, my experience in the business, obviously not in the pottery business, but in the social, um, social world of like creating content, creating videos, creating campaigns. I've showed you all that in our previous video and the video before that, we had a look into Pinterest. So I showed you how to gather ideas and obviously Pinterest is like such a good tool to gather ideas, to have everything down in one place, to give you inspiration, to think of other ideas from the pictures and just have a visual board. Um, like a visual diary of everything, everything you want to work towards, everything, the ideas you have and the aesthetic you want to portray um, with your brand and with your brand online. So if you've not checked that one, check that previous video, which is the second video it should be. Um, that was all about Pinterest. So obviously this video I've said, it's all about the knowledge, it's all about the tutorials and it's all about learning and it's all about the notes and how to write, well this is my way, I'm not saying this is the right way, but this is the way I've done it, um, how to write, not a business plan, but everything you need to know to get over that first hurdle, to get to, right, let's start making, let's start creating, let's start thinking, let's start putting everything I've got on this book into action. So this is what this YouTube's about. Right, so I think we've sorted that little book of what we're gonna do. This is my next book, and this is my idea book. Um, I will start the 10 minute time soon, but I do wanna fill you in on a little bit of the ups and downs of the week, because I did say there were some ups, and I did say there were some downs as well. Um, I have literally been on my wheel practicing. This is the wheel I got from Edinburgh, and you may have saw this in my second video, I'm gonna say. Um, found a wheel, it was a cheap, is it v v -vo, Viva Wheel um, from online? It's basically like a bit of an Amazon um, cheaply made Chinese wheel, but it should have been 300 pounds. I found it on Facebook Marketplace for 80 pounds. I've been on it for two and a half weeks. When I say I've been on it, I've been sitting on my ass. Obviously that stool I had, that creaky one, still sitting on it um, from nine o'clock in the morning till about six or even longer, just to practice, to really, really go for it on the wheel. Obviously, I'm really, really good at hand making, hand sculpting things. Yes, there's the trumpets. But I've never had any experience apart from one introductory course that I went to, you know, two and a half, three weeks ago um, in my hometown. So I did the one day, like, full on introductory course of throwing on a wheel. And that's literally the experience I had. So instead of like, that was 60 pounds per day, which is quite reasonable, cheaper than other ones, or, you know, I think we got about 60, six hours, six hour day, and obviously they, they fired them, and then I went to pick them up, and I'm not gonna lie, they're absolutely disastrous. I've not had them, uh, I've not got them here to show you, but um, considering what I'm making two and a half weeks down the line by doing nine or six, these first ones, where obviously I came back, I said I was a legend, um, uh, not very good at all, I'm not gonna lie, but it just shows progress. I wanted them because they're the first ever things I ever threw on a wheel, so I wanted to keep them and be like, look, that's where it started, this is where it is currently, and hopefully this is where it's gonna go. So it's nice to have a little bit of a story. It's nice to do the introductory course, but I'm not gonna lie, I was forced on it um, by my parents, just going, look, you can't just go into this, you can't believe, like, you're great, you need some intuition. I was like, people build, like, houses on YouTube, and they watch 
the video of how to build a house and then people will build the house themselves. Like YouTube is such a good um, tool to get that first hand, you can rewind it, you can play it, you can rewind it, you can play it, you can rewind it and play it again just to get it perfect. And I've watched hours and hours and hours of tutorials and this is what inspired me to do a little bit of, I wanna have, have a loose word on this, a tutorial about how to start or where I, where I even started of setting up a business. So this is where I'm coming from as well. So just if you find any of this information helpful, even if it's one bit of information, there you go, someone saw it. Um, so this is why I'm making these little YouTubes as well as to, tra uh, to track my journey online and I really want to do some shorts as well. So I've obviously been watching like how to wedge, how to throw a first pot, how to throw a ball, how to throw a teacup um, and a saucer. And I found those videos so, so beneficial and like absolutely amazing. The more of an older person, an older generation I've been watching. And it's quite funny because they'll just like, they'll not play music on it and they'll just literally just like do the job, which they've said, like, I am gonna make a cup, and it's just like a 30 minute video of them throwing a cup. I wanna try and introduce my, a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. I really wanna do some shorts soon. Um, so that's what I wanna try and do on YouTube. So if I've hopefully have done a short by now, you can go across and have a look at my shorts, see where I started. Um, but yeah, getting back to the wheel, basically I've been on it, like this ambulance, or whatever it is, go by. Uh, I've been on it daily like a lot and it just can't cope because it's it's a cheaper wheel yes it it did to be honest i was really really happy with it the first couple of weeks and i was like this is amazing then the fuse went i literally like i used it so much i blew the fuse in the wheel so i got a replacement fuse i thought it so sorted the problem i turned it on it was working fine but then it went like another two hours and it started beeping again i was like right it's just it seems to be like it's heating up and it just can't cope with the constant work I've got. So if you are obviously in the market of buying a wheel, and if you think, right, I'm just gonna get one of these wheels from Amazon and it's gonna do the job, it will probably do the job, and it does do the job well, but I'm not gonna lie, it lasted me two and a half weeks. I did get it second hand, but it said, the previous owner said they'd not really used it. It didn't look like they used it at all. But yeah, it's not really, it is worth the value because it was 60 pound for that introductory course I went, and it was six hours. And I've been using that probably like over a hundred hours now, if I'm on it like nine, six, nine, nine, like every single day, like doing big 12 hour stints, like my ass is killing me, but I am actually getting better. But if you think about the money there, in that case, that would have cost me a lot more to get a tutorial or to go somewhere. So even if it is the first wheel, and I know it's like, it's not throwaway world. I'm, I don't want to sell it though. I don't want to go, all right, this is a wheel. Or oh, by the way, it's like, it's, I can't sell it now. So that's it. I don't want someone to be disappointed. So it's a bit of a sticky situation, but yes, it's broke. It's not, it, I can't use it because I want something that I can rely on. And I can't go, right, I need to make 20 plates tonight, 20 cups, go on it. The first one, it just, it'll stop. And I'm like, right, well, I'm behind. Now I won't be able to fire these tomorrow or you know, trim them tomorrow and then go fire them at the end of the week. It's just an absolute nightmare. It's unreliable. Yes, it was 80 pounds, but I think I should have sort of paid more. So I'm looking at one at the minute and it's about 650, 600 pounds. So I'm hoping to get that one and just to move on with the problem. That's definitely gonna, it's a good make. It's a reputable brand and it's made in England. So I'm hoping that's obviously gonna do the job. I didn't wanna throw the products on a wheel where it was unreliable, it's just not very good. A wheel's a wheel, and it did do the job, but it didn't last very long, so that's all I'm saying. So yeah, that was the that was the down of this week. Um, we've had some ups, um, the logo's looking good, everything's in, in motion with that, and I'm super excited to see the end results. And I've been filming a little bit about the wheel as well, and doing some like little promo vids. So hopefully all of this will have already come out on Instagram by the time these come out, because I want to stagger these. So I'm filming these. It's February now, literally. We are moving on with the year. I was going to say January, but it's now February. And these are like, these will be me hopefully like four months, five months ago. So I want to do loads of practice, get my standards up to where they need to be like really high standard. Um, amazing. And I'm not going to lie, it's, it's, getting to me because I can do it but now it's down to uniform and it's like I can't get the uniform of my products right. Wayne, the clay, 
and everything else like that. I don't want to go into too much because this isn't the video for that. But yes, I'm not going to go into that much. We'll talk about that in another episode. Um, but this episode is down to notes and setting everything up. So we're going at like two different paces. It's just been, it's been two and a half weeks, but there's stuff I've done way, way before, obviously to this point, and the stuff which I'm doing now, which I'm going to talk about in like weeks time. So it's little bit all modeled up but if you keep along if you keep on watching every single youtube i think you'll see the progression i think you'll see everything in order which will be spot on but yes i am going to start a 10 minute timer and i am going to talk about my notes my first little notes we did cover this in the first one or first two but i want to go a little bit more in depth tell you what exactly i wrote down how i wrote it down and it might be handy on the other hand it might just be like right what's this guy talking about but let's let's go with it let's rock and roll Timer, 10 minutes, it's officially started. 10 minutes, let's go, we've probably already been 10, but you know, you know me. Right, so as I said, the first thing I did when I came up with the brand name, which came to me in the night, I was like half asleep and I was like, I think I've got it. I think it's the rolling and the stoned. It's got the two connotations. It's got the rolling of the clay, the stone where the stoned, obviously when it comes out like a bit of stone, it's got the rolling of said Jeffrey and you know the stoned at the end and it does cover encompass one of my favorite bands in rock and roll the Rolling Stones themselves it's got everything I think it's bloody amazing you've seen my Pinterest ideas you've seen the aesthetic of the brand you've seen it's like the French Parisian uh, you know like girl men like you've got the uh, espresso cup you've got your packet of cigarettes you've got your lighter but then i'm taking it to the british rock and roll side as well so there's like there's matchsticks there's sort of like you know like the cool that goes with the cigarettes of like you know ashtrays stubbed out cigarettes the plates already been used there's a dirty spoon on it there's a dirty coffee mug the girls the women the film stars of like the 60s the 70s and just mixing it up into that sexy, cool set of imagery, set of aesthetic to just encapsulate everything to make the brand like hot, sexy. So basically all those ideas I wanted to put down and this is what I did first. I don't know if you'll be able to see this when I hold it up, but basically it's a list of everything I think the brand has to be and the product has to be and I just wrote all these cool things so seductive European British Hollywood chic party moody effortless famous aesthetic risky sexy classic then I went down the the whole like check-in motel Americana type of route where it's like um, hotel room room service check-in love soft porn like cool like motel room keys I was looking at like everything will sort of come together and like be on the plate and I just think it's such a bloody cool effortlessly cool idea and I bloody love it so basically I wrote a load of words that would sum up the brand and I think that's really really good to go back to when you're making something do when you're making something gonna get my words you know tied up there I'll keep that in because this is a little bit more no edits this is what it is when you're making something does that reflect these words in that product and that if you keep on doing that your whole brand will become like that it's like a straight line of everything sums up everything matches everything comes together all collections are focused around said words and i think that's a really really good way to start so that's my first page my second page was um basically a bit of a shopping list so i did a shopping list of everything i needed to start the brand so i'd done my pinterest i'd done my initial ideas brainstorming got all the um, instagram names got the pinterest names got the youtube names got everything the same so you're not coming up with a brand name and you can't get the handle on instagram or you can't get it on twitter and you can't get it on facebook everything's the same everything's spot on it's at the rolling and the stoned on everything so that was the first bit I didn't want to tell anyone I didn't want to put it out there because I don't want to lose that handle I don't want to lose that name everything's the same throughout all pl platforms which is a super important key thing to have I think when coming up with a business like this um, so obviously my shopping list went a little bit like this so obviously it was a little bit of like what is it and like how much can I get it for but I sort of did it on the cheap um, so I Lent a bit of money from this because I've got a big project coming up in a couple of, well, a month's time. Um, I'm going to shoot in London, but basically I had £2,000 I lent from my parents. Super lucky, super grateful I can actually do that because obviously I'm in a good 
position and I'm so happy I was allowed to do that but I have got a big job coming and basically that's the same so I just wanted to lend the money now so I could get the stuff so I get started now I'm going to pay them back straight away with the job I've got in a month's time so that'll be good um, so I literally was like right what do I need from start to finish like everything from paint brushes to obviously what clay I'm going to look at so this is every every little thing here involved a lot of research so research is key, writing things down is key. So I've got pages in here on what clay types are good, what clay, because coming from someone who doesn't know anything, literally nothing at all about the industry, what what firing is, what firing types of clays, what grog is, like I had to research all these things in depth, which are in these pages, coming from a complete newbie in a, like, I don't know, I, obviously I love pottery, I've got loads of pottery in the flat in my place, but I wouldn't know where to even start when it comes to making it. Obviously I have explained that I love plasticine. I love like everything from Play-Doh when I was tiny to plasticine, I still make models. I'm really good at crafting things. And I have got tools like little knives, little things like that for my plasticine. But this is a completely different thing when you're turning it on the wheel. So I was like, right, scrapers, ribs, sponge, spinners, clay, what clay, chamois leathers, an actual wheel, cheese wire. So things from here, from a cheese wire, which will probably, you could find it for a pound, two pounds, to like a wheel where obviously I spent my first wheel was 80 pounds, the next one's gonna be 650. So it's like this stuff coming out. And then it was like, right, packaging, I've not even looked at that, but I've sort of like summed it up as maybe a price. Logo design, how much am I gonna pay for someone to obviously help me build a website? Um, how much am I going to pay? Am I going to design the flyers myself? This is like really everything pretty much I need to set up this. What's the firing costs going to be after I make the product? How much is the clay? It was a massive shopping list. It was itemized and it came to £1,550, which was under budget. But it's like if anything goes wrong here, e.g. the wheel, it's going to push the budget up. So have you got a budget? Have you got a shopping list? Do you have everything you need? Um, this is going to be a lot longer. I've got four minutes left, like never a chat. Shall I keep on going or shall I break? I'll break it into two. So we'll, the timer will go off. I'll keep on going. That'll be in the next video. So, Brandon, does your name stand out from the crowd? Does it summarise? Does it encapsulate another ambulance? There we go. Sure. There we go. Does it encapsulate everything your brand stands for? I think it does. I think I really, really love the name I thought of, the rolling and the stone. I think it does encapsulate everything. It's got that little bit of naughtiness, that little edgy, that little bit of drug paraphernalia. Oh, is it stoned as in stoned or stone? Like, oh, what is it? The rolling stones, why? What's happening? I bloody love it. I think it's, it's super cool. Uh, so brand name, obviously, how does it stand out? Does it communicate your values? And um, then I go back to my core words, my core values, like what do I want the brand to be? Um, target customers, competitors, uh, building a visual identity. This is how your mood board should come into it as well. And obviously if you have got a lot of imagery, a lot of sort of um, topics of pictures or topics of, you know, like a conversation basically to post, will it all look cool together? How will you display it? Like that's what I did. Um, have I got all the web, websites, platforms, handles, all the same? Yes, I have. Consistency and f familiar, 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 familiarity, familiarity. Does it look like the same? It's really hard to say. I just can't bloody say that word. Does it look the same? I think it does. And I think I will be able to build a really, really strong brand on this because it's so fucking cool. I absolutely adore it. And it is part of me as well. Like It's a massive part of me massive part of obviously what I want to do and I think it's obviously bringing the video, bringing the content, bringing the creation, the campaigns and the sexiness and the smoking and the rock and roll into it. I think it's just the best mix in the world. Um, right so and then I've gone from like packaging which I've not even looked at yet. I've gone then to listing things I could possibly make. So like obviously you want to start a pottery business. What are you going to make? You're going to make a cup like everyone else. How's your cup going to be any different? This is a little one, I actually, um, this is super cool. I actually, this is just falling out. This is a letter, this is like a Valentine's Day card I give to my girlfriend and she opened it like that and it had like a heart on the front and a lips on the back which I drew and she opened it I was like, do not throw that away. That is like the coolest thing ever. So I wanna make that out of pottery. I've like a couple of fags on it, maybe like a motel um, key ring on there. And I think that is like a little, keep your receipts as well, keep all those. 
Um, have that as like a little tray, so like slightly bend the edges up so it's more like a trinket dish. With that like opening, I think it's just the best. So ideas could come from anywhere. If you've got ideas, keep them, put them all together. Put your, uh, you know, taxes, invoices, keep all your receipts as well, that's just falling out of there. This is like my brain at the minute, this book. Um, we are not looking good on the time, I'm not going to lie. Uh, we'll slightly wrap this one up here, we've got 55 seconds left. I have gone, I've waited on, basically. But we're going to get through this book, we're going to do it in the next one. You can pick up this YouTube in the next video, so that should come up here. And uh, hopefully I'm giving you some good tips and I'm telling you everything you need to know of if you want to set up a business or if you want to start something, anything really, because a lot of this stuff came from that Fashionpedia book, which I first talked about in the first one, along with my like diaries and like um, you know visualization boards and stuff. Um, but yes, I think we've got 10 seconds left, so I'm just going to wrap it up now. Watch the next one. It's quality, this. It's bloody gold. Watch the next one, and I'll see you there in literally a second.